so good day guys in this video so i'm going to be showing you in a step-by-step -step process why your whatsapp automation will not work why your whatsapp automation will not work i am going to be talking about three major things that could um make your whatsapp automation not to work whatsapp automation i mean being able to save contact on whatsapp with rename being able to save contact on whatsapp with generic name and any whatsapp automation whatsoever right so without further ado i just wanted to like this video right now give the thumbs up so that other people that need this kind of solution can have access to it subscribe to this channel if you're joining us for the first time and hit the bell notification icon so right so the first thing i want to look at here is um let me look at the application i'm using for my whatsapp automation and as you can see right here i'm using task application i'm using contact task application and i'm also using autoresponder application right this one right here autoresponder application these are the three major application i'm using for my whatsapp automation so um you know the next thing i want to do is look at the reason why this three application might not work in conjunction to together to help me save contacts on whatsapp or to perform any automation that i want to do on my whatsapp so i just go to my settings i will look for i will look for applications yeah this is application this could be different in um different phones depending on the kind of phone you're using but i'm very sure you should have the same interface and in some phone you, you could have app list some phone could be app manager or app management stuff like that just locate your app and from these apps then what i want to look for is is the first one here is autoresponder right so i'm going to tap on autoresponder so from autoresponder i want to check this particular one called notification right so notification i need to on the notification and ensure it is always on right so that is the first thing i want to do talking about the notification then the next thing i will look for is the permission so from the permission i will uh i will allow all permission right i allow permission for this this is the these are the require permission for this autoresponder and the last one it is very important also i will look for the battery right so this application for it to work perfectly i must ensure that it can work or it can run in the background you can see allow background activity and that it is not battery optimized so then i'm going to locate okay still in apps still in apps i'm going to locate tasker also where are you okay i have it here tasker so you can see the notification is very important also so i'm going to ensure everything is this way and like i said this interface might not be the same with respect to your phone but you are going to do pretty much the same thing just go to your settings locate your app list app manager app whatever so and from there locate autoresponder locate tasker and contact task so i want to ensure the permission notification is is on also the permission is also on also now the major permission you need for the major permission you need for this task application is you need contact task you need file and media i also need the phone so this major um applications must give it permission under this task right so then i want to go back right now so then i want to look for um battery also so you can see not optimized not optimized so i don't waste time on that so then that is all for this application and this appear on top that is good also i want it to appear on top so and i think that is all then i also locate contact task
content task is here so you can see notification allowed um permission allowed you can see right before the end of this video i'm going to show you one main reason why even after doing all this your phone might still not save contact or perform the automation you have set it up to do so i might show you that before the end of this video okay another thing is permission then you can see because you want this phone this automation to save contact automatically so i have to give it accessibility for contact and file also you can see so and then remove permission if app is in use so then i'm going to go back and then battery also i want to as you can see not optimized and i think i'm good with this i'm good i'm good all right so i promise so i promise to show you one main reason why your phone might not save contact or do a particular automation in which you have set it up for even after you have set up the right settings for the required applications right so the reason is be, could be because you got the wrong applications right look at this application right here called task application if you want to download it you must download it from google play store you must ensure you download this particular one tasker from google play store if you are getting auto responder from all these third party websites you don't have any problem but this particular task application you must ensure you download it from google play store very very important and this one right here is free so i think that is all so that is all for this video guys ensure you give this video a thumbs up if you have not done that like it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that at this very moment and share this to your family and friends to your community and people that you feel might actually be interested in this content and put a comment in the comment section if you have any i will see you or if you are if you want me to set this up for you set any automation for you maybe um want to save contact automatically or you want to set up any kind of whatsapp automation at all just click the link in the description below and chat me up and i will see you to attend to you and help you set everything up from the scratch